Corbin, and he has a new great movie coming out. Tell us all about it. Uh, it's called Beyond the Heavens. Okay. Uh, it's a, it stars uh, Nathan Gamble, who was in one of my previous films, 25 Hill, about the soapbox derby, a wonderful, wonderful young actor. And uh, it's really a very simple story that really goes to the core of, um, uh, of, of things that uh, you know, really confronted me when I was younger, and that is a young boy who grows up in a small town whose grandfather happens to be the... Uh, the, the pastor in town and mm -hmm. and uh, you know very very uh, religious family if you will uh, and he's really confronted because of a, a dark haunting secret that's around the family of, of he's making that choice at, at 13 years old of I'm not sure I'm buying everything I'm taught in church even though it's my grandfather but I'm really digging everything I get over my science class by this sort of atheist teacher yeah and He's really at a point where many young kids do, where you get to, you know, I've got to sort of, I think they think they have to go down one path or the other to sort of get to the great mystery, yeah. if you will. Um, and we talk about the great mystery in the movie. And he's seeking that truth, if you will. Um, you know, is it God or is it just science and nature and it all happened? Or, as he sort of comes to learn is, isn't it God and science under God and nature yeah. and all those things. Um, and it's really that story, that struggle, and like in all my movies, but he has to sort of solve a mystery uh, to unlock his, uh, unlock the path he'll go on. If I have any sort of purpose to these films, um, it's to reach out to people, and I think one of the things that gets in the way of people with a relationship with God is being told how it has to be rather than sort of discovering it for yourself. And, yeah. you know. But this particular movie, like, what is the audience that you're aiming for? What age level? And it, You know, I really like to think of my films as full family films in a strange way, that there's enough for everybody in there. Sometimes I think there are, I would, I'd, look, I'd love to say this is for, you know, you know, 10 to 18 year old kids trying to sort of sort through these same problems. Yeah. And I think there is that. Um, does it get a little philosophical for an 11 year old or 12 year old kid? You know, maybe. Um, you know, when you see kids movies, you typically are thinking of like, you know, action, adventure, young kids or, or all the other junk that's out there that, you know, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're going to go see big action movies. So I, I like to say that I like to think that I make family films, meaning they're films that the entire family can watch together, preferably individually, and there's something for everybody. Um, it comes out on October 1st okay. uh, through Echolight Studios. Okay. It should be in all the normal places where one buys a movie. Uh, certainly you can, I, I think we have an ability actually at our website of my company, Home Theater Films, in the store to buy it there. Um, and uh, Great. Sounds great. All the normal places. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. This is fun.